Forbes Sports Money on Yes is brought to you in part by Capital One Bank. What's in your wallet? Welcome back once again. On November 29, 2011, Wayne Weaver, the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars, announced he was selling the franchise based on a deal he had made that day. Now, the terms of the deal were not immediately disclosed, but it did include a verbal commitment to keep the team in Jacksonville. The new owner was a Pakistani-born billionaire named Shad Khan. Now, Khan had unsuccessfully tried to buy a majority of the St. Louis Rams in 2010. But with the successful purchase of the Jaguars, Khan had achieved an unprecedented place in football history. He had gone from Pakistan to America, poverty to billionaire status, and was now the first ethnic minority to own an NFL team. Michael Ozanian traveled to Jacksonville, Florida to meet a man who achieved the American dream and more on our Sports Money Profile. What were the experiences that led you to first come to the United States? Uh, looking for a better life, fame and fortune, heard the streets were paved with gold, found that to be true. So, uh, and I got encouragement from my father that, you know, he had always dreamt about going overseas to make his fortune. And um, he'd had some success as a small time entrepreneur and uh, I should do it. And I thought that was great, I'd love to do it. And I wanted to study engineering and uh, we researched and applied to a couple of schools. Yeah, the first letter that came was from University of Illinois and admitted, so there I went. In the winter of 1967, 16-year-old Khan traveled for days to make his way from Pakistan to Chicago, where he knew absolutely no one. That area had almost a century's worst storm, a uh, blizzard, about 30 inches of snow. So the air traffic was shut for days. So when I got there, I'd been traveling for several days. And, uh, you know, they drop you off at night, and uh, so you're looking at snow and, uh, you know, where you go. Uh, so I went a couple of places, finally ended up at the YMCA that night, and it was, wow, this is really different. You know, I wasn't kind of expecting this. And, uh, um, and um, you know, it was $2 a night at the YMCA, and I'm thinking, man, I'm getting ripped off here. You know, this is, <laughs> this is too expensive. <laughs> I'm going to go through my stash here so very quickly. And, uh, and, but next morning, you know, I got up and I saw they were hiring dishwashers. Uh, and uh, so I got a job there washing dishes, buck 20 an hour. And it was like, my God, what a country uh, that I'm making more money now than 99.9% .9 of the people in Pakistan. And it's, uh, this is, can't get any better. So, uh, and uh, then I started engineering school, which was hard. And I'd be saying, you know, I can make this kind of money without a degree. Why should I even be going to engineering school? You know, so. But uh, then you discover the good things of American life, the social life. And uh, I pledged a fraternity. And then, you know, you had to have a, most of the guys there had convertibles. So I had to get a car, which meant you need another job. So you get on that American dream very quickly. Khan started working for the automobile manufacturer Flexingate while he attended school and continued working there until 1978 when he opened his own business with a small business loan and $16,000 that he had managed to save. Two years later, he bought Flexingate and was well on the road to riches. But even after achieving the American dream, Shad Khan had an even bigger goal, to one day become an owner in the sport he had fallen in love with since coming to America. In 2010, he tried to buy the Rams, and even though he wasn't successful, Khan was undeterred. By the end of 2011, he would make his dream come true. And I got to ask you, I had heard this, I don't know if this is true, that the deal, the original deal to buy the team was something that was written down on a napkin, uh, the, sort of the finances behind buying the team? Yep, yeah, it was just uh, downtown here in Jacksonville, yeah. Now, Wayne had gone through, you know, selling the team maybe to some people. So he knew some of the uh, fundamentals and I had gone through the Rams, which was another good experience, how to value, what's important, what isn't. And we just sat down and worked it out on a piece of paper. <laughs> how much detail was on that napkin? Well, I, I framed it. I probably should have brought it over. So, uh, but uh, what was on it was we, had a, we started off with a price, then we started deducting for certain things, uh, came down to a number, and um, both he and I knew that the way to do a transaction uh, was that you can't really have too many ads or deducts. 
that's what really ties things down. And really you're fighting over, you know, in the scheme of things, not that much money, but you end up just destroying the timing and the whole relationship in the process. So uh, both of us agreed that uh, it has to be a transaction where uh, minute you agree to it, uh, it has to run as a reg regular business. Uh, you can't be taking money out or putting money in. And then whatever it is, it, it is from working capital, cash, and so on. Now, this is a franchise that got off to a very fast start mm -hmm. uh, when it broke into the NFL and then has struggled in recent years. In fact, some games have been blacked out on television. Some of the seats have been uh, covered. None of this uh, presented any doubts in your mind in terms of that Jacksonville could be a viable NFL football team? No, because, uh, you know, I've been around uh, opportunity or turnaround all my life. Mm. And uh, for me, you know, I was ready for an NFL team. This is, uh, you know, this, this is your calling. I mean, your number gets called here in Jacksonville. So uh, you take the situation and you make it better. Coming up, we'll find out how Shad Khan plans to make the Jaguars better when we return on Ford Sports Money.